What is going on guys, Moo here today, we're going to be doing a deck guide and review on the deck you're seeing on the screen right now. Now I want to uh, make a few changes quickly, if you guys don't want to use Ice Spirit, you can of course use Skeletons, uh, that's just one small change you can do, and of course you can use Zap instead of Log. Uh, there's the deck guys, Night Witch, Executioner, Goblin Gang, Tornado, Miner, Log, or Zap, and then Ice Spirit, or Skellies, and then the Rocket. And this is a really solid deck. I'm going to be showing you guys this challenge deck. Now, this deck can be used in classic challenges and in grand challenges. I'm just going to be doing classic challenges for the um, uh, feeling that I won't lose because I don't want to lose in a video. Because if I lose, you guys will think I suck, even though it is a good learning experience. We're off the bat, I'm going to try and tornado the talk to the King's Tower, which is really your goal of the, um, of the deck. And, of course, I'm not going to get it because I had a Goblin Gang. So big mistake there by me, but basically just know that you're going to want to try and get that Goblin Gang onto the tower at all um, times, and that is exactly what I tried to do. He froze my Executioner, and now I got not the Goblin Gang on the tower. You want to activate the King's Tower. There is a Miner and Night Witch push. We're going to hopefully get some damage with the Log, and that's basically going to actually get a lot of damage. Very much damage, actually. A ton of damage. That got the tower down to 856. I'm going to probably drop a... Yeah, Tornado, because he's going to drop his hog. Now, this time, I'm going to activate the King's Tower. Um, you guys can copy that placement and definitely make that placement exactly where I just did it. And he's actually going to give my Goblin Gang its chip damage, and that dealt a lot of damage. Now, his card levels are kind of low. They're only about one card level off, though, so it's not terrible. We'll go Night Witch, and we'll go maybe Miner here. We'll actually rocket this for the tower. That is one tower down there. Um, rocket for Executioner, a very good trade. I'm going to give him the laughing face because, you know, he gave me the trade. Now, for the Miner placement, place in that corner tower right there when you have one tower down so that the King cannot hit it. The King cannot target the Miner in that exact placement. I showed you right in that corner, the bottom right corner, I think it is, that's what I would say. Right there, of course. Excuse me. And that's basically where you're going to want to play it once you get one tower down or once they activate your King's Tower. Or, yeah, their King's Tower. So he's going to drop a hog gear. I'm actually going to NATO all of this. What a Gucci NATO. Um, yeah, wow, really good NATO. That was the most profitable NATO executioner. And there's the minor placement that I said. Notice the King's Tower cannot target the Miner, so it's basically as if the, um, there was only one tower being targeted. I'm going to try and NATO that Executioner together so that my Executioner can hit on the tower, and my Executioner did get one shot on the tower, which is over 280 damage, I'm pretty sure. At level 4, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Executioner, I'm going to log this back. I'm going to go Goblin Gang, and we're just actually Night Witch would be a better option. And basically, GG well played to John Dark 1994. That's basically just going to be a good game. I'm going to let that mini horde go. And I'm going to tornado this princess back and the Skarmy just so my executioner could have hit hitting them all. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, hitting, is that the right um, verb or adjective? I forget what it is. I'm very um, a noob sometimes. But basically, guys, let's just get back on to the gameplay. Good game well played to John Dark 1994. Um, if my game is like fast forwarding right now it just feels like the game is going really fast for some reason but whatever two stars to none good game well played to john as i just said and this deck is so strong now that i just did that deck i'm going to run you guys through how you're going to play this second match and less of me actually explaining what i'm doing so first off you're going to want to cycle your cards as you can see i'm just going to hover a few cards and before i hit 10 elixir i'm just going to drop a cycle card and of course i'm going to hover rocket Maybe try and bait it out. And I'm going to get the NATO. Trying to activate that King's Tower. If I move move that NATO one tower to the right and one tower down, I think I get the King's Tower activated. If you guys can get that placement, always try that. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go for on a very aggressive, uh, not Knight, Minor Knight Witch push. Now, that push will sometimes work out geniusly. And especially with the Night Witch buff, um, no, nerf. When the, Night Witch, when the Night Witch didn't have the nerf, that uh, works so well because the Night Witch spawned bats right at her spawn. But it still works really well, as you saw, before he dropped his Electro Wizard and he got the Zap to kill them. Now, when they drop, like, a tank, you might think, oh, how are you going to take out a tank? You have an Executioner and a Night Witch as you're pretty much only killing cards. And I will show you guys just that. 
So first thing, you're gonna definitely wanna get your executioner. Um, you don't wanna address it right off the bat. You're gonna wanna cycle. I'm actually just gonna log the gun barrel. And by the way, guys, they did add a change to Clash Royale that they did not tell anyone. I don't think they said it. And basically, they made so you can play the log on top of the tower. Actually, I might have that. Actually, wait. I thought that was update. Um, I thought that was added in the update. I think I'm just hallucinating. Basically, guys, defend like the prince with your goblin gang. And then, as I said, with that night witch counter pushing at like zero health, you get all those bats. And he had to zap it. But if those bats were not zapped, they would have taken the tower. It's basically like a minor minion horde push, except you're using bats and a minor tanking for your counter pushing night witch or an aggressive night witch. So that's basically that. Um, and then you have the rocket because the executioner will actually wreck you. And rocket's actually really good in the meta right now. And as you can see, I'm at 10 elixir. So I'm just cycling cards, trying to bait out something on the right side so that I can rocket it. He, he's not gonna fall for it. Night witch in the right lane. Um, I'm gonna actually log this back. Actually, I'll try and tornado to see if I can get it. He played it on the innermost um, hand of the tower, which is really easy tornado. Those bats will single-handedly take out the P.E.K.K.A. And I'll mine her right in front of the Executioner, so the Executioner can hit those cards that he's gonna try and defend the Miner with, and then hit the tower with those axes too. And that's really where you wanna play the Miner when counter pushing with an Executioner. That's exactly where you wanna play the Miner, right in front of the tower, so that the Executioner then hits the tower. Now I did log that because I already had the King Tower activated, so I knew if he did drop a Goblin Gang, no, Goblin Barrel, that would not do too much damage. And then of course his, his Graveyard is gonna get zero shots. Why? Because I had a Night Witch, my King Tower activated, and then a normal tower activated that completely shrekt it. And then basically from here out, I'm just gonna defend. I might rocket this e -Wiz down. I might just NATO all this and rocket this. This is how you might defend big pushes. Tornado and then rocket. See that? Bang! You see how much damage it does? And of course, I'm gonna play that miner in that left, bottom left corner so that the King's Tower cannot touch it. And it's on the bottom so the Executioner can hit, then hit those cards and then hit the tower with it. I'm gonna give him a troll NATO just to give him the good game. Well played. A little BM there from myself, but who cares? Uh, hopefully, uh, ja Janie Elton does not care. But good game. He played a good, uh, well game. He did have like a P.E.K.K.A. bait deck. I don't really know what it was. But it was well played. I liked the deck. It was pretty creative. So, you know, that's kudos to him for the creative creativity. So, let's get into another match. Probably our last match. We'll see. So, we're facing some Asian characters or some Arabic characters. Not really sure. We're going to start off with a, a Miner and Ice Spirit push. If you don't have anything to do, this can be sometimes a push that will take out nearly 600 damage on the opponent's tower and can truly devastate them. Now, he does have the Furnace. Furnace is an annoying card. If you guys play the Furnace or if you guys face the Furnace, you guys know that. And we had a little lag there, but hopefully that does not carry on to the battle. I really have nothing to play because most of my cards are a little bit spammy. A little bit spammy. Executioner, though, should really wreck this um, deck of his with that furnace, but hopefully we can actually shut that down and hopefully he does play his furnace in a spot where I can eventually uh, Rocket that in the tower, but right now we're just gonna sit back here goblin gang to cycle I'll try and get the NATO on this one. Did I get it? Yes, I did guys that is the exact placement you want to use for the um, uh, Tornado even with a goblin gang trying to kill the goblins before they got to the king's tower I still activated the king's tower perfect placement Ice Spirit right in the middle. Ice Spirit is going to be super clutch at distracting and curries. The Ice Spirit was looking to the right to kill that one. Um, I forget what unit it was. But it was looking to the right. And then that unit died right out of, as it was mid-jump. And then it curried or, um, yeah, curried into the other uh, opponent's cards. I think it was Goblins or was it Fire Spirits? Well, whatever it was. I'm just going to drop a Miner just to try and get some chip damage here. As you can tell though guys, this might be a hard um, base to crack, or not a hard base, more like hard um, defense to crack into with that furnace. He's gonna try dropping the Goblin Barrel, not gonna work, I'm just gonna log her back. And I did have my King Sour activated, but um, I didn't need to NATO that down. When you do have your King Sour activated and you have Tornado, and you don't have Log, because you used it on like their Goblin Gang or something that you can use once you have um, your King Tower activated normally. You can tornado it, um, the cards, the goblin, the Goblins from the Goblin Barrel down so that everything kills it. I'll show you guys that probably later in this video if he does that. Hopefully he does that so I can show you guys that. 
and hopefully I don't mess up the placement. As I said though guys, I'm placing that miner in front of the tower whenever I have an executioner. And now at this point I realize I really can't crack his, um, I can really can't crack the code. So I'm going to have to start rocketing. I did get a not so valuable rocket. I'm going to log that back. And here's a prime example. That's basically where you want to play the tornado um, or something back there. Um, it somehow got a lot of damage. For some reason those spear goblins shot pretty far back. They shot from while they were really far back, and of course, it's speeding up again for some really weird reason. I don't know why the gameplay is speeding up for some reason, but sometimes the gameplay is doing this in this video. I'm going to try and get the goblin uh, barrel to the tower as the replay is speeding, or not the replay, the game is speeding really fast. Really weird, but okay, I'll let that go. Um, but basically guys, that's gonna be the deck guide for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helps you guys win a lot of challenges. As I said, this is a challenge deck. Um, if you have the card levels for ladder, definitely go do it. There's the deck one last time. Um, I have tried it in ladder. It does work if your executioner and NATO are decent level and your um, miner is not terrible level either. But I just haven't done this one in ladder too much because my executioner is only level four, my NATO is only level four, and my goblin gang is only level 10. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.